The nephrons of the kidney have a unique blood flow. So if one were to trace the flow of blood to a nephron and back, say beginning with the abdominal aorta, one would follow the renal artery as it enters a kidney, and the renal artery then branches into five segmental arteries. And in the renal pelvis, these segmental arteries will divide into several interlobar arteries. These interlobar arteries form arcuate arteries as they arch over the pyramids in the renal medulla. And from these arcuate arteries, cortical radiate arteries then approach the cortical tissue. Afferent arterioles depart from these and enter the renal corpuscle forming the glomerular capillaries. Now, the glomerular capillaries are drained by efferent arterioles. Nowhere else in the body are capillaries drained by an arteriole. These efferent arterioles then form a second capillary network. Either the peritubular capillaries around the PCT and DCT, or the vasorecta which surrounds the loop of Henle. These capillaries then drain into cortical radiate veins, which drain into arcuate veins, which drain into interlobar veins, which drain into segmental veins, which drains into the renal vein, which departs the kidney and brings the deoxygenated blood to the inferior vena cava.